Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, She's Nettles at your service. Today I'll be reading the November 12th Daily Inspirational Message. The condensed version is two paragraphs long, then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, I'm going to make a couple comments on the message, and I trust it will assist both of us on our journeys. If you find the message of use, uh, please be so kind as to like, comment, or share, or even join us and subscribe. Thank you for that, and here we go. The title, Self-Worth. Focus on appreciation instead of condemnation. Paragraph 1. Today, let us make an effort to focus on what we can appreciate in self and others instead of searching for what we can judge and condemn. The more we practice this, the more natural and normal this way of thinking becomes. Today, if we find ourselves being pulled towards the ego's judgmental mindset let us not put ourselves down. Instead, let us use the situation as an opportunity to practice consciously disengaging from the judgmental mindset. When we can see the ego as an ally instead of an adversary, we learn to use its tools and mindset not to judge and condemn, but to trigger in us a call to awaken. In doing so, we reverse the thinking of the ego's world by offering appreciation for everyone and all. This mindset will then help us grow and reinforce our own sense of self-worth. Paragraph 2. Today, remember that no one can change or diminish what God created as perfect and whole. You are forever God's perfect creation and, being all one, so too is everyone else. Today, offer all others appreciation, not condemnation, for helping you recall, practice, and reinforce the nature of your perfect worth. The more you reinforce your perfect worth, the more natural this way of thinking and being becomes. The more you see yourself as worthy, the more this belief will overflow and radiate from you and out to all those that God sends your way. The more you see and acknowledge others as worthy, the more aspects of yourself you will learn to love. This will help you better appreciate your whole self. The greater understanding and appreciation you have for your whole self, the less you will judge and condemn yourself. Right. Self-worth, excuse me, focus on appreciation instead of condemnation. Okay. How do we build up our self-worth? I'm going to make five points, basic points, that I hope you will find useful and that will help you build your self-worth and our self-worth, really. Okay. Today, I want you to imagine everyone you meet as part of yourself. I want you to imagine that we are all one. And so what you see in others, it's a representation of something that's within you, a belief that's within you. And so in, in, in point number one, we want to see everybody as one and therefore as part of ourselves. In point number two, we want to remember that everyone out there, it's in reality an external picture of your internal condition. And so you see, see, things seem to be occurring out there in the world, right? But in reality, what's happening? You're defining what you're experiencing. So whatever lives within you is the lens that you're seeing this world through and how you're defining the world. And so if your past programming and the ego's mindset has told you, listen, we, this situation is worthy of being judgmental and, crit and criticizing this person. Guess what? Those judgments, those criticisms, they live inside of you as a false belief that's within you. Because we have to remember that God is love in all 
And therefore, the only thing that truly should reside within us is the love that God is. If we're seeing through the ego's mindset and judging and criticizing somebody else, those beliefs are living within us. And it's through their lens that we're seeing this world through. And so is the blame really out there? Is the blame for your lack of peace or joy out there? Or is it in you or in you? And so let us remember, everyone out there is just an external picture of our internal condition. Okay, that's point number two. Point number three, we're always gonna reinforce the beliefs that we hold dear. And so if you want to, and we do, we want to be the light of the world that God created us to be in our own unique way. That's our function here, okay? So we wanna reinforce those beliefs that support that, uh, that option <laughs> to be the light of the world. And so when you forgive others, when you see others and you choose to forgive them instead of condemn them, what, uh, what energy are you supporting? You're supporting the energy of forgiveness which is really just an extension, an expression of the love that you are. If you're supporting the idea of condemnation, then you're supporting the ego's mindset. Something, I'm trying to show my finger there. <laughs> Something that's not really you or true about you. And so, yes, you can go ahead and buy into the world's fantasies and say, okay, I'm gonna judge and condemn this person. But where does that lead you? Does that ever lead you to being the light of the world that God created you to be? Does that, does that condemnation and judgment ever lead you to a place of peace and joy? Eternal peace and joy? No, it doesn't. And so uh, just remember, point number three is that it's up to us to support the beliefs that remind us that we are worthy of having self-worth that we are all worthy and have self-worth. And so when you offer forgiveness instead of condemnation, when you offer compassion and mercy, when you, uh, when you help lift people up, when the, the world, the ego's mindset and world would say no, let them be, let them be downtown there. But what does that do to you? If we're all one, right? If we're all one, you're just teaching yourself that you're not worthy of being lifted up when you're down. That you're not worthy of mercy and compassion and forgiveness when you don't offer it to your brother and sister. And so all we do is offer to others what we want to support within ourselves and what we want to remind ourselves that we are worthy of because we do have the self-worth given to us by source. By perfect love and so yes you're always worthy no matter what the ego's mindset and your past programming says and you help rem you remind yourself of that by offering those expressions of love to your brothers and sisters that's point number three let us support those feelings and emotions that support the truth in us that we are worthy that we have self-worth all right, and point number four. Um, as we support these uh, behaviors, they become more natural. I guess this a little combination of point number three and four. Uh, and so, so we want to support those behaviors that support us, as I mentioned in point number three. And so the more we support behaviors that support us, the more we strengthen our resolve. And the more we remember that we are in truth worthy of bringing the light into the darkness. We are, we in truth have self-worth. Because if we see everybody out there as worthy, as worthy of compassion and kindness and forgiveness and joy, all we're doing is filling those belief systems within us that say, you know what, we too are worthy of those things because we're all one and so those behaviors that we constantly support we strengthen 
from being, from being able to enforce. And guess what? Little by little, they become more natural. It becomes more natural for you to forgive your brothers and sisters. It becomes more natural for you to have compassion and mercy and kindness towards those that even the, the ego would say, no, they're not worthy of that. Because the ego is always trying to trick you into believing that you're not worthy. Why? Why is that? Because the ego wants you to think that you cannot be perfect. And if you're not perfect, if you're not worthy, then how could you ever be a part of a perfect God? And if you're not a perfect God, then who's here to defend you? The ego. The ego says, you know what? I'm here for you. I know that you're not perfect, but I'm here for you. And then what, what does the ego say? So, you know, you're not perfect. So you can judge, you can criticize, you can hate, you can have resentment and revenge. That's okay. But guess what? Those are just the ego's tools. So the ego doesn't really care about you. It cares about supporting its tools and mindset. Because if you support its tools and mindset, then it gets to live and thrive through you and gets to be a part of your life. But if you just let go, let go of the stories and choose to only support the truth in you, the love, the compassion, the forgiveness in you, the ego's mindset begins to dissolve away because all that's left in you is the light. And the darkness dissipates before the light and disperses and dissipates and disappears. Because that's not, that has never really been you or, or true about you. And so that was point number four. <clears throat> and point number five is, as we usually like to end uh, most of the messages, is gratitude. Thank your brother and sister for being part of a process that's helping you remember that each and every part of you is worthy. Each and every part of you, no matter how lost a little part of you might be, is worthy of being forgiveness, is worthy of, of mercy and compassion, it's worthy of being lifted up when it's spilling down. And so thank them. Thank you for helping me practice remembering that I, what I offer you resides within me. What I think you're worthy of, I think I'm worthy of. Because I'm seeing the world through the, through the lens of my beliefs. I'm defining this world. And so you're helping me practice seeing the ways that I can define this world that align me with the light in me. And equally so, those ways that I define the world that are aligning me, aligning me with my stories, with my darkness with the distortion of the ego's mindset. And so thank you, brother and sister. Thank you, Situation A and B, because you're just helping me practice. And so I have deep appreciation for you. Thank you. And thank you <laughs> for spending some time with me today. I love you very much. And if you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, it would help with the listing process, and it might help somebody um, also uh, remember that they are worthy. Being God's creation, they are forever worthy, no matter what their stories tell them. Okay, thank you. Uh, God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.